Hello, sausage. How are you doing? Are you a good dog? Hmm? Who's a good girl? Yes, you are. Who's my good girl? Yes, you are. Hello, beautiful. Hello. Yes. Yes, I love you too. Yes. <laughs> you just want cuddles, don't you? Hmm? You just want some cuddles. But we can't have cuddles, cuddles now. We do cuddles later, okay? Hmm? <laughs> right. Okay, hang on a second. <laughs> cool. Thank you very much, Kirby. Thank you sincerely, Kirby, for subbing. Sorry, uh, sorry about that. I just had to restart the stream. Because sorry, let me just check something. I'm just going to move the camera around. I was basically fiddling with my frame rate settings last night while launching armor because I was trying to figure out some some frame rate weirdness. I was I was just trying to experiment and I forgot to change it back. So I started the uh, stream on like 24 frames per second. Cool. Looking much better. Nice. Okay, so welcome indeed everybody. Welcome and uh, fucking hell the week is going well it's not going that quickly but um, yeah it's going quite speedily. Welcome to your Wednesday morning. I hope you're having a lovely day. Um, so, before I, uh, thank you Tim, and thank you Walking Lettuce, thank you kindly, thank you guys, where is Lettuce, ah, uh, here it is, thank you all of you. So, um, yes, so what's happening on the YouTube side of things, it's the fourth and hopefully final week of work on the, late, on the latest bullshittery, I've got the video edited pretty much end to end, minus like one scene that I need to do in full, and I'm currently polishing it, so the fourth week is the polish, so I'm going through and I'm I'm fixing things and I'm moving things around. It's a slow process where I have to sort of stop, re-render a scene, watch it through again, you know, render it with, the, sorry, like render that scene and then the ones to the left and the right of it in order to see how it flows in context, that sort of thing. So, um, yeah, I'm just sort of working through, hi Cake, hello Cake. Cake is in class, so she can't stay. I, I hope it goes well, Cake. Hope indeed it goes well. Um, so yes, I'm, I'm just kind of working on polishing this video in the hopes of getting it out to you as soon as I can. It's Armor 3 Anti-Stasi Bullshittery Part 4, and I hope you I hope you like it. I hope you, well, I hope you like it when it's ready. So, um, yeah, so that's what's going on right now. I might, well, sorry, what's going on this evening? So th there should be some SWAT 4 this evening, which I'm looking forward to doing, but I might need to skip a few other streams this week, probably tomorrow morning and probably Friday morning as well, just because I really, really would like to get this video done this week rather than have, you know, have it trail into the next week. So I've just got so much, yeah, so much, to, so much to do, you know? Um, anyway, so I'm just sort of cracking on on the YouTube side of things. And, um, yeah. Is there a way to get back captured colonists, Randy? Yes, sometimes the, uh, well, sometimes they can escape, sometimes you can get a rescue mission, and sometimes you will get a ransom request from them. So we're going to have to see if we can get the Oris back after his abduction at the, at the end of the last stream. Thank you, just, uh, RGA Destroyer, and Fonk. Thank you very much, Fonk. Fonko. Thank you, and Hiroto. Hi there, Hiroto. I hope you're well. Thank you all of you for your generosity, folks. Thank you. Right, so... Welcome indeed to Colomus Creek. Uh, calamity, catastrophe, disaster, minor inconvenience. All of these things can be used to describe l the last stream, which involved an outbreak of malaria, an outbreak of flu, a tribal attack that caused the death of Ike's the Gigolo. Uh, he was stabbed in the neck in this bedroom, I'm afraid. So we had a, uh, an invasion of tribals that cut their way through this wall. And uh, we were able to fight, we were, we were able to get rid of them with a combination of uh, melee fighting and wargs. But yeah, by get rid of them, I mean kill them, all of them, every single one. They died to a man, but not before Ike's the Tenth was stabbed in the neck with this spear, um, which is a shame. So Ike's is dead. He was wearing full power armor as well. They got very lucky. So they got him right in the neck seal um, between the armor plates. Ah, sucks. And he had like, you know, a full sh power armor and shield and sword. That was his sword. So yeah, it's, it's shocking that he just died immediately. But uh, that's just the way it goes, I suppose. Thank you, Supra Supra. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. So in addition to that, shortly afterwards, we suffered a much more serious um, well, event. 
we had an attack by the Galatarian Kin League of Onomeni, who are a competing colony. They're not, they're not tribals, they're an, they're an actual colony like us. And so they came, presumably from here, and uh, they came in from the, e from the east and attacked our east bunker. They managed to get through one of the doors and injure the Oros, who was trying to fix it, stabbing him in the back of the leg. That's his weapon. He dropped it as he fell. And they were able to carry him off. They, they dragged him off here, off the edge of the map. We, well, we, we took a, a hell of a toll on them. We, we shot the shit out of them and, and killed many of them and, and injured two more. And they're uh, currently in the infirmary. Now, let me just have a quick look and see. Did he survive those? So this is his wife, Gumball Bob kidnapped so as far as she's aware he is still alive so he didn't succumb to his injuries as far as we know so we're just going to, have to monitor that situation and see if she does indeed die uh, he does die thank you sir potato and levi and super super thank you sincerely thank you so yes um difficult difficult indeed to be fair, he was facing through it once because he was standing in a doorway. Yeah, but all the same. Yeah, you know, I expected him to take some injuries and then we'll just pull him back. I didn't expect an insta-death. Uh, that's not something that happens too often. So, um, yeah. Thank you, Sir Potato Man and Tolerant. Thank you, both of you. Thank you. Okay, then. So, welcome indeed to Coloma's Creek. It's the eighth day of the seventh year, so it's still spring. We've let the animals out to try and find some food, but there's not a huge amount out there. We also have a, well, we have a timber wolf that we need to hunt before it causes a problem. So, yes, the priority right now is getting the injured patched up. Where's Ben? She's taking, oh yes, we've got a couple of prisoners. So two of the bandits, a guy called Lucas over here and a girl called Amber. Um, right, so we'll get them. I, I don't think they're, they're, they're not very good colonists, to be fair. Um, I wonder if there's like a prisoner exchange or something? Because we got two of theirs, they got one of ours. Thank you, it's the, um, sorry. Thank you. It's Zezzy, and Hooded Meow, and the O Slayer, and Levi, and Tolerant Pumpkin. Thank you all of you. Thank you. Okay. Right. Let's crack on then. So Ben is just patching up the... Well, feeding the prison. No, what's she doing? She's going off to rest. Why? In restraint... Well, hang on. What's the problem? Not assigned to wardening. Oh, I see. Because she's no longer injured, she's on her feet, so it counts as a wardening job. Vickler, what are you doing? Viewing art. So Vickler the chef, who's also our night owl, can you do any wardening? You can. Vickler, could you deliver food to Amber and that guy there? Right, Ben, could you get to the infirmary then? So Ben, the 70-year-old gardener, is also our primary doctor. Um, I need you to go over here and start tending to people. So let's go to the medicine... Re yeah, let's just drop the medicine requirement for, for now. Bear in mind, we also have quite a few people with the flu, so we're going to have to watch that situation. They need to get patched up. Okay. Right. Hi there, ba uh, Zenith Bavron is in the chat, folks. And uh, so is uh, and Birdie and Gorty are both here. Birdie is Swat Knight's girlfriend, and Gorty is Cyanide's super hot, super hot girlfriend. I hope you're very well, all of you. Welcome indeed, welcome. Okay. Sorry, who just got up and walked off? Was it... Sorry, did Batman just walk off? Uh... Right. Sister's getting into the bed. Alright. Okay, so yes, Ben is just... Yeah, we just need to patch people up then. As best we can. Walking lettuce... Oh, no, it's Jonah's there. Do we have any unpatched up injuries? Uh... There is a multiplayer mod, uh, your boy Snake, and I, I, I might be mistaken though, I know I mentioned this a few times, I don't think this is the right type of game for multiplayer. Um, I, sure, you can do it, it's a thing, but um, I, I, I think the attraction of this particular game is, is kind of walked over a little bit by doing it multiplayer. It's about getting attached to a colony and, and the people in it, and having them go through their trials and tribulations. Whereas you add people to it, you can't really stop and, stop and enjoy that. You, when you play multiplayer. At least I reckon so. I might be wrong completely, but um, you can't really stop and listen to the backstories and look at the the individual personalities of of your individual colonists if you've got three people in the room with you, you know? It just becomes about the mechanics and mechanically eh, Thank you, Jokeface. Thank you very much. Thank you, Riverson. Thank you. Well, how do I know if I've never tried it? I don't, which means I could be wrong. But just on the surface if you were to tell me could, could RimWorld be a multiplayer game? I would say yes, but why? Right.
right. Okay, we have about... How many? Sorry. We've got 36 units of herbal medicine. Uh, we're going to get through that quite quickly. Okay. So Ben is a good doctor. She's 70 years old. She has a burning passion for medicine, which means she'll learn how to sort of pick up additional skills quite quickly. Thank you, Reese. Thank you very much, Reese. Thank you. Okay, it's one in the morning. Who's awake? Batman's awake. Yeah, our sleep schedules are a bit fucked at the minute because, well, you know, the battle. Okay. Bavin says he's now super hot ZF Bavin. How would anyone know? You wear that mask all the time. Yeah. Where's Ben going? Uh, feeding meals to them. Have they all been patched up? Uh, no. Sisler's missing his There's fluid. a reason for the mask. It's to keep the ladies at bay. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, you keep telling yourself that. Hey. How you doing? You alright? Hey. Yeah, yeah, doing good. How are you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, good, good. You're quite quiet. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, you turned me down for a I moment. I did, VR. I did, I did. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah how's things with you? Oh, yes, editing. Oh, a lot of editing. Yep, yep. I know that feel. I know that feel. Uh, the amount of masking I'm doing. I'm, I'm looking forward to the result. Yeah. It's not going to be the best, but I'll be happy with it. Welcome to my world. I'm actually surprised at your pace now that I'm doing it myself. Yep, thank you. Yep. Yeah, the moment people step into editing, <laughs> they realise just how you know time-consuming oh, it is. Uh, uh, Keyframing is yep. easy. As soon as you add 3D into the mix... Yep, God, but you, yeah, you, you like quadruple like, the effort. Yeah, it's just like you seven up, yeah. things you need to adjust. Yeah. And, and and then the human eye is incredibly good at spotting when something isn't quite right. Yeah, even when it's just a frame. Yeah, even as like a slight frame is off, it just throws it, doesn't it? Yeah, it's it's crazy. Yeah. But yeah, luckily, cause... like with some of them, because it's a bit shaky, because it's obviously Thank some you, of it's in the distance. Thank you, Chief. Thank you. But I can get by because the screen does sort of shake from explosions. Yeah, I do that trick as well. So zoom and wiggle a bit. When things aren't quite convincing, zoom and wiggle. Ah, it it hides a lot of the wiggle. yeah. It hides a lot of the not quite keyframe correctly. Okay. Well, there's other stuff happening on the screen at the same time, so it's just sort of a background joke mm -hmm. sort of thing. Cool. Oh, you'll see in a couple it. days. It'll be done. Hmm. Cool. Yeah. How's your video doing? All, yeah, all good nearly QA'd? done. Nearly done. Nearly done. Working through it. Yeah. <sighs> anyway, I'll catch you later. I'm, I'm just yes, going to do some real world. Jump back up. Yeah, have a good one, man. See you soon. Yes. That ZF Bavin, folks. He's uh, very musically inclined for uh, one of our clan members. So he's the guy that does a lot of the music stuff. You've probably seen his Seven Days to Die uh, stuff that he's linked before. But yeah. Right, sorry, where was I? Um, yes, okay, so in the infirmary, I just need to make sure that everyone is patched up. How are we doing on the flu front? Oh dear, Sisla's not doing too good, actually. He's 51% immune, but 52% infected with the flu. Um, sorry, Finn's arm has been bitten off. Jesus, and the leg. Right arm, right leg. Oh dear. Thank you, Sneaky Kitten of Doom. Thank you very much, Sneaky. Thank you. Right. Yes, I, I also look forward to doing the, the Halo Reach bullshittery. Yes, I can't wait to do that myself. Uh, so we're collecting lots of lots of highlights for Halo Reach. Oh, so I, I'm wondering if I should combine... So I'm not sure what I should do yet. I need to review the footage. I might do Halo Reach multiplayer completely independently, or what I might do instead is take the Halo uh, games that I played with Psy and sort of splice them so that we have the single player Halo stuff and then it goes into Reach. I, I don't know yet. Uh, what I might just build up a master file of both and then split them if it seems appropriate and then just do Reach on its own. Or, uh, yeah. But I look forward to doing that indeed. Halo Reach Bulletitter is going to be pretty cool. Okay. Right, so, yes. Uh, right, so Jonah needs to stay in bed. Uh, yes, he's beating his flu. So who else has the flu? Uh, Chucky, where's Chucky? He's sleeping in... Oh, no, he's, he's awake. Um, flu, 50%. Immunity, 53 Okay, you need to get back in bed. Yeah, have your food, then get back in bed. There we go. He's getting good. He's getting into bed. Um, okay, so Podo, do you have the flu? Nope, you're fine. Stanky's fine. J-Girl. Right, Sisla's already in bed. Farineer is sleeping in the in that room over there and he hasn't been tended to. Oh, wow, holy shit. He's totally beating his flu easily. Nice, he can stay there. Um, right. 
Uh, Mr. Stromax over here. So what? 67% immune, 56% infected. He's fine. Okay, uh, Lady Tigress, 71% immune, 55% infected. Where is she? Sorry. She's in her own bed. Hmm. Can you wander over here and get in this bed? That'd be probably be, be better, just so we can keep track of you. Okay. Okay, we're mostly okay then. We're mostly okay. Uh, have I done anything about the Auras? It's only just happened, Doris. Um, we haven't really done anything because, well, it's only been a few hours since his abduction. We look, the bodies from the bandit attack are still outside. This is the first night, isn't it? The first morning. So right now, uh, his wife, Gumball, is waking up alone for the first time in some time. Hmm. Oh no, damn. Our Megasloth Axolotl is dead. Infection. Shit. It, it wandered off. We couldn't uh, amputate its leg because it yeah, wandered off before we could do that. Shit. That sucks. So it was a random Megasloth that tamed itself. Sorry, why is there a... That's not a good sign. Why is there a rotting bug there? The dog's got one of the bugs, but it's rotten. I don't know why. It must have been in a hallway or something. Yeah. That's a shame. Thankfully, it wasn't bonded with anybody. It just, uh, you know, tamed itself, but no one bonded with it. So when an animal is bonded and it dies, then it, uh, it causes severe, a severe mood penalty for the owner. Obviously. Hi there, slow go. Oh shit, sorry to hear it, man. Hope you feel better soon. Okay, so J-Girl is currently preparing some insect meat meals for the animals. However, we might have sufficient roughage. Are they eating? So the animal's outside. Ooh, maybe? They might be eating enough grass? I don't know yet. Sorry, uh... Oh, wait, it's not It's not one of my boomalopes. Where are my boomalopes? Here they are. Um, ooh, maybe not. We'll see what happens when they wake up. Maybe they'll find enough grass, maybe they won't. Thank you, Bubble. Thank you very much, Bubble. Thank you kindly. Much appreciated. Um, let me just sh uh, let me just shrink this, shrink these two zones to have a little bit of meat outside the freezer. This is for the wargs, you see. They they eat only meat. Mm -hmm. Okay. In fact, looking at that, let me just uh, let me put the meat down here. We just copy this, uh, so copy settings, and we'll just pop it down there, just so it's a little bit further to walk than out there. So she can just move. So J Girl, the bandit who is working in the kitchen, can just go through the auto door into the freezer rather than faff out there. Uh, right. So she's butchering some insects. Good. Can you actually butcher everything so we know what we've got, J Girl? Starvation. Joan is starving. Uh, ben has gone to bed before feeding him. Batman, would you mind? I could make a dedicated human corpse room where only the wargs go, so they eat corpses and raw meat. I think, yes, I could, Dragon, but I think, and I might be mistaken, that there was a change made in 1.0 that caused some animals to go manhunting if they consume too much human meat. Is that bollocks? It was something I read a long time ago as a counter to the people who were just using bandits as, as their primary animal food source. So, we might... N oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. Damn. Um, need to get these deer in the freezer. Is that bollocks? Hmm. Thank you, the Hexo... Um, sorry, the Hexam Man. And welcome, indeed, sir. Uh, Lawfoot, could you please haul, haul these animals into the main freezer? Yeah, this is good meat. It'll be shamed, a shame to waste it. And we need to get these these corpses burnt. I didn't mean to store human corpses here. Uh, this was just a, a, a brick storing area, really. Get rid of that. And store them there instead. Okay, so Gumball, thinking about her now you know, kidnapped husband, is now working in the research area. Um, oh, cool. Oxidox has given birth. Ah, two wee puppies. No. Oh. So a male, two male puppies. Good. Okay. We'll get, get, them, yeah, get them sufficient training for everything, really. So they're attack wargs, males, nice. The females, are, it's better to keep them as breeding stock if we can. Thank you, Damri. Thank you very much, Damri. Thank you. Right, so I need a couple of names then. Okay, any volunteers? Any volunteers to have a war So two male wargs, they're going to grow up to be big, burly, biting things. 
Right. Hmm. Let's go with. Da 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 da. da. <laughs> Uh, hang on a minute. Let's go with the O, uh, the Zero Slayer. Okay, welcome the Zero Slayer, and the next one will be Diana Sark's Cult. Cult. Diana. Cool. Welcome indeed, folks. Okay, so the two. So yes, Diana and the Zero Slayer, the two baby baby puppies. Baby puppies? Two, two baby baby wargs. You know, they're so cute. With their little teeth. That they're going to use to bite people in the bollocks. No, nope, we're going to keep them nice and safe. We need to keep them safe and sound. And let them be big and grow big and strong into, like, lumbar bee here. A three-year-old male. Who will fuck your shit up if you, if you cross that thing? Uh, how many kills? Five. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, five animals. Uh, downed one human, but killed five animals. Hmm. Where's um where's our where's our matriarch? Where is she? Um tattoo Oh she she died, didn't she? What was her name? Can't remember. Um Wargs, Wargs, Wargs. I guess Tattoo would now be our matriarch. Yeah, Tattoo. Wasn't she the daughter of Svetlana, that was it, Svetlana the matriarch. So how many kills does Tattoo have? Uh, 24 animal kills with eight humans bitten to the, to, bitten to be down. Oh no wait. Eight animals. Shit. I thought they would have loads of human kills. We, we we unleash them on the enemy all the time. What about Wiz? Oh, okay, mostly animals it seems. Hi there, Edberg. Uh, ZF Edberg is in the chat, everybody. If you're not familiar with him, he streams. Feel free to have a look. He's a knobhead. Hmm. Okay. Right, the base is pretty filthy right now. That's probably because most people are suffering with the flu. Lady Tigress, the primary... Uh, janitor is certainly down and out, down and out in the infirmary. Batman is currently milking the camel, Neville the camel, producing milk that is delicious and incomprehensible. Okay, um, so she's uh, Batman is going to have to take over animal handling duties. What with the abduction of the Oris. Um Right, are people sowing crops? Yes, good. Tarn the nudist is out there sowing crops. Good. So is Podo, the former Alzheimer's sufferer, and Ben's brother. Okay, yes, we just need to get as many crops sown as we can. It, oh, good. And a trade ship is passing by. They are known as Mother Lubricants. They are an exotic goods trader. Alas, I wish we had... Um, yeah, I wish we had... Uh, what's it? Drugs that we can sell. As in, if we had... Si well, we did... Didn't we harvest a cycle? Ooh, bugger. My my bad. My bad. I should have been turning these into drugs. Then we could sell all of them. I mean, there's still time if we're quick. Who normally does that for me? Uh, who's got a higher... Uh, I think Gumball does, doesn't she? Gumball. Uh, can I... Yeah, if we can if we can sell some drugs, that'd be super useful. I mean, even even really hard drugs. Not assigned to crafting. Uh, Gumball. So who, who is? Who, who normally does that for me? Is it Vickler? Does he have sufficiently high enough intelligence? Vickler. Oh, he does. Okay. Um, who else? Sorry. Bear with me. Stanky, the combat engineer with a skill of 15. Lawfoot. Oh, it might be Lawfoot. Lawfoot. What are you doing, Lawfoot? Yes, it is. Okay, Lawfoot, would you mind... Yeah, no, never mind about the deer. Let, let, let someone else do that. You, you've got a way more important task. Could you please go and produce as many units of yayo, which is a sort of white powder that you snort with, with, with a very powerful uh, euphoric effect. It's cocaine, basically. Um, so make it with eight units of uh, psychoid leaves, which we grew in the, in the um, tertiary hydroponics bay. Cool, there we go. And then we'll get it as much of it as we can sold before the trade ship leaves. Jonah, he's injured. Hmm. Oh wait, didn't Gumball have... Yes, Gumball has a trade inspiration. So Gumball has a slight bonus to the prices that she'll be able to negotiate. Okay, could you please call the exotic goods trader? Right, so, what do they have for sale? So for those not familiar, this trade interface shows what we can sell and what we can buy. So, um, yeah, so we'll be able to sort of shimmy our resources back and forth. So they have 3,542 units of silver, we have 2,000. Then what can we... What can we sell? So we could sell some of our animals. To be fair, we have a lot of animals right now. We're struggling to keep them all going. 
Um, they're selling some boomalopes as well, but I don't think we need any fresh ones. Hmm. What do we need? We do need components. Purchase all 27 components. Uh, Glitter World Medicine. Maybe get a couple of units for emergencies. Glitter World Medicine is basically nano machines. Uh, Yayo. We can buy, but we cannot sell because we don't do not have any. Uh, we could sell. No, we, we need that plasteel. Um, okay. Ooh. Ooh. Ha ah, ha. Ah. A joy wire. You put that in someone's head and they feel good. It helps with someone who's suffering from chronic depression. We have a couple of people who have that. Okay. So, Animal Psychic Pulsar, Power Claw, Architect Eye. They've got some nice stuff here. So it's, it's a shame we can't afford all of it. Um, sell that little bit of gold. No, I keep it because we might need to make components. I mean, is there anything... We don't have a lot to sell, to be fair. <sighs> and maybe we should be careful because we could get a ransom demand from the, for the Oros soon. Hmm. What to do? What to do? It would be nice to get that joy wire, but pricey. All of the... Ah, Jesus. That's half our silver. Um, sell animals, I have too many. Did they buy any cows? No. Yeah, we could, we could sell... Let's, let's sell a couple of boomalopes. I don't want to, but we are seriously struggling to keep them, to keep them afloat. Uh, we've got some older boomalopes. Sell Gorties. Yeah, no. Um, let's sell Void Slayer, the boomalope, and Energetic Butler. Well, uh, sell a male if we can. Then we can breed more. Sell Psych Cake. Sorry. Psych Cake and Void Slayer. We'll sell two of them. Keep mostly female. Oh, no. Sorry. Void Slayer is a female. Never mind that. Um, sell. Uh, how many males? Uh, uh, just one male, that might be... Th okay, nah. No, it's still Void Slayer. Right, she's not pregnant. Okay. And get two units of Glitter World Medicine, and yeah, we'll get the Joy Wire. Why not? Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Needs must. We can't feed all of them. We can't feed all of them. There we go. Cool. And also, could I have Faranir? Ah, good. He's immune to the flu. Would you mind just cremating some of these bodies to get them out of the way? A party! Sisler is throwing a party! Everyone who goes will gain recreation and social energy and a lasting positive mood boost. Cool. That's fine. So, yeah, we can play poker and relax. Not a bad idea, frankly. So, the people who are currently doing their jobs will have them... Well, apart from Lawfoot, because I need him to make as much yayo as I can. Okay, abandon your jobs and go to the party, folks. Oh, Ben. No, Ben. Don't feed raw meat to... Go to the party. The people who are resting. Can I order them to go to the party? Yeah. Provided they're not about to die of the flu. Uh, you should be alright. Michael Jackson is pregnant. Sorry, it's a cat, MJ. Hmm, oh cool, one of our cats is pregnant. Right, good, good. Um, how are the prisoners doing? Are they being tended to? Uh, hang on. So this one and that one, their injuries are dealt with, but they're not being fed. Okay. Uh, yeah, do that last body and then go to the party. Yeah, but it'd be good if we can get as many people there as we can. Then they can relax for a bit, get a good, get get, get an improvement to their mood, you know. Anyway, for the people just joining the stream, welcome indeed to Coloma's Creek, which is a swampy colony that's been going for about seven years now. A group of misfits, uh, so pirates and nudists. I was going to say a pizza lover, but he's dead. Um, ev evangelists and architects and former Alzheimer's sufferers, it's, it's, it's a madhouse here, who have to get get along and survive here on this, well, on this uh, jungle-type terrain tile. 
They're just hanging out with each other, talking, playing poker, having conversations. Yeah. That's good. Getting some delicious and nutritious nutrient paste. Mmm. Made out of alpaca and insect meat. <laughs> I'm afraid so, Don uh, Bra Braid One. Brand One. Um, Ike's was killed in the defense of the colony. Good point. It is quite warm in there. Holy shit. Um, because uh, I took. Well, I enclosed the roof for the winter. We should undo that. Major break risk. Who is it? Podo. So Podo is one of the people who's naturally depressive. So Podo Man is perennially unhappy. He has trouble sustaining a good mood even when everything is fine. So yeah, he has a, a, a mood boost. A mood penalty, sorry. Minus 12. That's pretty bad, actually. We could give him the joy wire. Hmm. Is Lawford getting the buff? I don't believe so because he's working. I need him to work. And I know it's a party, but don't touch that stack of drugs. Leave it alone. We need to sell them. But yeah, this would be good. Hey, well done. Nice, nice, nice. Cool. So, uh, attended party times 10. Looking good. I had a good time at the party, says J-Girl. Right, back to work, everybody. Chop, chop. Quite literally, in your case, J-Girl. So, J-Girl the bandit, who enjoy, who is uh, 41 years old and really enjoys cooking, is off to the kitchen to butcher some animals. You've done a good job there, Lawfoot. Gumball, before you get back to research, would you mind selling those good... Well, hang on a minute. Lawfoot might need to haul them into the storeroom before, before they can pick up on the, uh... Ah, shit. Um, ugh. Uh, yeah, he's just going to carry them, carry them to this storeroom here. Have I ever thought about recruiting psychopaths and having them burn bodies and deal with the dead? Indeed, and I do. Um, I think Lawford is a psychopath? No, it was Walking Lettuce who is currently down in the infirmary. Cool, there we go. So, Gumball, call up the trader, please. And we should be able to sell... The yayo that we created? Yes? No? Ah. Uh, chocolate yayo. Do they not purchase yayo? Do we not have a trade beacon within that room? Seriously? Didn't we have one? Oh, okay. I swear we did. We must have moved it. Ah, okay. Um, oops. Lawfoot, would you mind... So uh, the trader can only interact with things that are in, in range of the orbital trade beacon. So we've got to lift it up. There we go. Lawfoot picks it up by its feet. Carries it into the next room where he hooks it up to the power. Thank you, kind Mira. Thank you very much. Good, good. What's he doing? He's having, ha having a beer. Right. Let's have a look. Plasteel. Um... No? Do they do they not purchase? Is it not hooked up? Wait. Oh, Lawfoot. What? Lady Tiger. Oh. Fuck. He just put it. He put it down in the room without installing it. Put it down, you dumbass. There we go. Hook it up. And yeah. I guess, um, yeah, Lady Tigress was standing in his way. And he just, he just went, fuck this! Okay, here we go. So 16 units of Yayo. We can sell for... Oh, that's not that much. 185 units of, uh, units of silver. I mean, something, but it's not great. Here comes our silver. Oh, right. Yeah. Thank you for that. It's in the damn chimney. Chimney, even. Bugger. So we've got to, we've got to break the wall down in order to get that. Thank you for that. Right. Um, oh, we'll get back. Yeah, Lawford. While while we still got them, just get back and you know make as many make as many as we can. Ah. <sighs> okay. Three people have a major break risk. Uh, it would be Podo, Jonah, and Farinir. What's the problem? So Podo is upset because uh, he's naturally depressive and he he's observed some bodies. Jonah is feeling sick. Eight, uh, sorry, eight awful meal. He still feels very sick. He should be okay, but can you get in these one of these beds instead? Um, and who was the other one? Sorry, Jonah and Podo and Farron. Farron? Yeah. Where's Farron? Here he is. Oh, it's because he's sent. Yeah, he's sent all those corpses. 
yeah, it's all right. It'll be fine. Just hang in there. Thank you, uh, Matazar. Thank you very much, Matazar. Oh, and um, ZF Yuki is in the chat, everybody. Feel free to say hi. Also, another uh, member of the clan that streams. You can click on his name if you want to. Uh, if you want to see his stuff, he's a knobhead, but they all are really. Ah, <sighs> hmm. I hope you're well, Yuki. Okay, sell flake instead. You want to get fifty percent more money for Yayo, uh, while it costs one hundred percent more leaves. Good advice, Storebot. Yeah, sure. We can do that. No problem. Uh, make flake and drop it. Uh, just drop it on the floor, and just do it forever. Oops. There we go. And make it higher priority. Uh, what's he doing? Whoops. No. Whoops. There we go. Uh, thank you, Evil Zero. Thank you very much, Evil. Thank you kindly. Thank you for doing that. Uh, sorry, is anyone dealing with the... Pr uh, yeah, they are being fed. Is Jonah doing it? Someone's doing it. Someone's feeding them. Oh, yes. Uh... Walking lettuce lacks a ranged weapon. What happened to your weapon? I'll have to give you one. Yeah, give you one in a minute. Podo has an extreme break risk. <sighs> yeah, maybe we should give him the uh, give him the joy wire. Could be sensible. Hmm. One relaxed doggy. Yeah, she's good. We we popped to the uh, yeah we we popped on a walkies. Um, pop round for a walkies and. She enjoyed it, and uh, she she tried to play with uh, with this big floppy, like it was like a terrier, and uh, she just really wanted to play, but it was on a lead and it wasn't allowed. Yeah, she's just sleeping. She had a good she had a good run round. Hmm. <laughs> right. So Podo has an extreme break risk, but we'll leave him out there for the moment. Uh, what I do need to do is I need to get Sisla, my builder. Uh yeah, get breakfast first. Uh, there's a wolf out there I need him to kill. Because if we don't, it could hunt our livestock. Which could prove to be a huge problem. How much food do we currently have? Okay, uh, that's not a that's not a lot. I mean, it looks like a lot, but for the number of mouths we have to feed, that's not a huge amount of food. Mm-hmm. Yuki was pooping and now he's sipping tea. Thank you for the update. We all greatly appreciate it. Ah, shit. So what are we going to do about the Oros? He's still kidnapped. He hasn't died. He's alive. We've got no ransom notification. I mean, if we attacked one of their bases, would he just be there? Also, bear in mind that fairly close by, there's a mission to kill 18 tribals of the Orange Cliff Treaty. They're guarding a charge rifle. It's not too far away, and the, temp the weather conditions are pretty favourable. We should probably do it. Take a mortar tube and some turrets and a battery. Hmm. Oh, I, a masterwork charge rifle is a hell of a prize. We could call them. Can we call them? Okay, so the yeah, the egalitarian kin league of the Ono Many. Uh, no. Uh, release his faction's prisoners unharmed. Hmm, he's not willing to talk to me. They guard a super advanced weapon with spears and clubs. Indeed, they're they're not aware of what it is. Okay. Ah, sister's hunting the wolf. Yeah. Cool. Didn't even need to, didn't even need to ask him. He's just doing it on his own. Nice. He's got a sniper rifle, which is fairly decent, and also an Archeotech eye. Um, I mean, hopefully, little wolf, but we we've got no notice of where he is. I mean, they might want they might want him for their own faction. They might refuse to trade him. Extreme break for us. Yes, it's Podo. He's just... Podo's depressed. Oh, thank you, newbie. Thank you very much, newbie. Thank you for the sub bomb. That's very kind of you. Thank you for doing that, sir. Thank you sincerely. 
Super Minion says he's playing RimWorld right now and a ray just landed with transport pods inside his base. The fuck? They can crash through the roof. I didn't know that could happen. Indeed they can! Scary as fuck, isn't it? Um, my best advice to deal with that sit- What's that sound? Who's puking? Someone's vomiting. Oh, it's Lady Tigress? Why? Uh, flu, and she's stoned. She'll get over that flu fairly quickly, though. She'll be okay. Should have a decent chance uh, he at least comes back as a raiding thing. Yeah. I mean, there's a chance that we can accidentally kill him. That's trouble. What should we do, oh, what should we do with their two prisoners, then? We've taken their power armor. That's, what, that's, that's the thing we really wanted. I don't really care about the prisoners. Wait, uh, sorry. This lady has a lover. The lover's still alive. And the... These two don't like each other. I should probably just release them. I don't really give a shit about them. We'll release them tomorrow morning. Someone deliver food. Jonah, before you rest, go go bring food. Who's working as my warden? Jonah. Deliver food for Amber, then go to bed. <laughs> they look fat. Harvest meat. No. We're not eating the prisoners. Oh shit, sorry, j -Girl. Sorry, she's been working all day. Uh, uh, Lawfoot, yep, yeah, you can stand. Do one more and then stand down. Maybe take those into the... Into the what's it, into the other room. Cool, Vickler the Night Owl has woken up. We got lots of bricks, which is good. Loads of bricks. Yeah, we should definitely replace the damaged sections of the wall. Maybe even triple up some walls in places. And also, we should scan the ground to see what additional resources there are. Plant steel, that sort of thing. Could prove useful. Hmm. Sorry to hear it, Seal. I hope you feel better soon. Uh, Vickler talks to uh, Lawfoot there. Talking about facial hair. Oh, Vickler's now working on the drugs instead. Okay. Good, good. Uh, Jonah, before you go to... Did you, did you bring her food? Yes, good good man. Okay. Sorry, why is he still downed? Uh, I'm not sure. He's high, but he should be up on his feet. Oh. Sorry, bear with me. My phone just did a wibbly. Uh, ah, Sheep. ZF Sheep has just started streaming RimWorld. Ooh. Okay. You'll find him in the stream team below, folks. Right, so uh, Jonah, no, uh, Jonah, could you get on the horn and talk to the goods trader? Let's get this, uh, get these drugs sold. I don't want them sitting around to be snorted by the rest of my, well, the rest of the, the guys. Okay, so Yayo, so only two units, get it sold. Flake, 20 units, get it sold. 176 units of silver. Yeah. Better than a kick in the teeth. And uh, missed the chimney this time. Okay. Podo's gone to bed. Oh, dear. Lots of blood in that room. Mm hmm. More, <clears throat> more iron. Yeah. We're going to need a lot more. Right, so it's the tenth day of spring. Five more days until summer proper. Most of our crops have not been sown, which is a huge problem. We've got some, but not all of them. We need to exploit the warm temperatures and just get as many crops sown as we can. Especially, you know, potatoes and rice and stuff. Don't I mean the sophisticated sheep, the name he had before ZF. Oh, really? Really? That was his name? But he's a cunt. He's not sophisticated. <sighs> oh, no. What happened? No! Oh, no! Oris is dead. Oh, shit. No! How did we find out? How did we find out Oris has died? Gumball found out while she was sleeping? Dead. The Oris has died off map. Wait, they didn't treat him? That's a bit weird. You figure they would give him medical attention. Thank you, Bed Intruder and Nigerim. Thank you very much. Oh, that sucks. The Oris is dead. 
No, that's not good. Some of the animals that he was looking after have gone manhunting. So Walking Lettuce is now having a mental breakdown. Tattoo the Warg has now gone into a manhunting state. Bonded with the Oros, you see. Eater has become a manhunter. This Boomalope has, has gone manhunting. Is there any way to stop that? Shit. I mean, the big problem there is is tattoo. That's a war. Shit. Is she con is she contained? No. So she's got full. Oh god, that could be really bad actually. Tattoo's gonna rip someone's throat out. It's a two-year-old female, pregnant, pregnant war. Okay. Thank you, Fugi. Thank you very much, Fugi. Thank you. Um, right. Batman the Houndmaster, I need you on your feet. J-Girl, you too. Yeah, that, let's not take any chances. Um, Vickler, you too. Get together in a group. Where's Tattoo going? Yeah, we're going to get some revenge for that. Where's it going? Shit, it's going for the prison. It's uh, going for the wounded. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Move. Uh-oh. Oh, thank it. oh, shit, it went for Sisla, the old man. Right, Mr. Stromax? So the door opens and an angry warg runs in. The sleeping Sisla gets pounced upon. The 60-year-old man, Jesus. Um, Mr. Stromax gets out of bed, quickly reaches for his sword. Jonah does the same. Get in there and help Sisla move out of there. Okay, we bum rush. People are waking up to fight. Uh, Chucky's trying to flee. Get out of the way, Chucky. Let the fighters do it. No, Sisla, don't fire your weapon. Just melee. We'll take it. We'll take it. Okay, it's down. It's down. It's fine. It's fine. Right. Pain shock dies in three hours. We've got to get this. Yeah. That needs ur urgent medical attention then. So let's just get it treated. Ben, are you awake? Bit of commotion. Uh, how's Sisla? Dies in 20 hours. That's a bad, yeah, very, very bad bite there on the shoulder. Um, oh, dear. Chucky as well. Whew. That, that ward was not kidding around, was it? Okay, the rest of you get back in bed. Excitement's over. Um, apart from Vickler, I'm afraid I need you to go and... Um... Oh, shit! Eater the Boomalope got in? What the fuck? I figured it'd be stuck outside. Lawfoot, run! You uh, fucking hell. Gumball. Get up as well. God damn it. Um, Batman, can you treat your ward? No. B uh, ben, do it. Where's Ben? I've lost her. Ben's run off. She's there. Rescue, tattoo, and treat. Uh, let's put down the sleeping spot just here. Hang on. Uh, animal sleeping spot here. Rescue. Shit, hang on. Get out of there. Go. Watch it. That creature's going to go boom. Shoot it in this... Oh, damn. I'm sorry, Eater. Careful. Careful, careful, careful. If you're going to kill it, kill it where it's concrete. Shit. Love it. Keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, hang on a minute. Uh, where's you two stand down? Sorry, where's... Where's Ben taken tattoo? Why over there? Oh, you should be fine? Yeah, should be fine. Um, just keep going, Lawfoot, keep going. Gumball, go there and shoot. Shooter. Shooter! Boom. That sucks. Had to be done. I see you got through the gap there. Oh, no, just came through the door. All right. Ex extinguish that fire. Gumball, go back to bed. Thank you, Zeno STV. And Jacob, thank you very much. Thank you. Right. Okay. I say we get some revenge on the, egalit the egalitarian kin league for what they've done. Let's have a look and see what they've got. Their settlements are some distance from us. I think we destroyed one of theirs at some point in the past. So we have one over here. Hostile. It's some distance. We could drop pod there, walk back. I'd kill the prisoners, but they count as innocent now. So when we first captured them, they were guilty, but no longer... We'd be murdering innocent people. They're not responsible for the murder of the Oros. Hmm. But at the same time... That doesn't mean I have to send them home. 
They could, you know, get in a drop pod and accidentally get launched towards one of their enemies. Let them be their problem. Thank you, Maisie. Thank you very much, Maisie. Thank you kindly. Okay. Right, um, so who... Yes, Podoman's very upset. J-Girl's still... Yeah, you do stand down. Um, so Chucky and Sizzler are both hurt. Where's Ben? Uh, 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 ben, where'd you go? He's still carrying tattoo. Yeah, get tattoo treated. Ah, oh, damn. Farron is off to have a tantrum because he's upset. God damn it. How's Chucky and... So dies in 10 hours, Sizzler dies in 20. Yeah, Ben, ben has time. It's four in the morning. Some people are waking up. Lawfoot's going to the infirmary. Okay. Don't worry about uh, medicine. Just, just tear off pieces of your clothes. Go. Yeah, Ben's... So even though the injuries are pretty severe, Ben's medical abilities will speed this up quite dramatically. Okay. Give them both knives and bring them up behind a wall and just forget about them. <laughs> no! Oh no, Farinir! No, don't break that. That's the geothermal generator. That's expensive. He's not going to break it, right? Do we need to arrest him? Uh, he's going to stop, right? Oh, for Christ's sake. Where is that? That's not here. That's the southern camp. Oh, Jesus. People having mental breakdowns. People are very upset, it seems, according to the moods at the top. Oh, dear. Right. Uh, no, I don't think he will. It depends if he's focusing his anger against it. Right, get over here. Batman, get over here. You too, Jonah. Ah, fucking... Do we have a prison cell? Yeah, we do. Needs to be. Faranir, come on, man. Chill the fuck out. Right, Batman, drop your sword. Don't stab him, for Christ's sake. Drop that on the floor. Right, come quietly. Yeah, he's come quietly. Thank you. Oh, an eclipse as well, which means our solar generators no longer operate. Yay! At least we've got reserve power. We'll be fine. Jonah, go back to bed. I'm sorry. No, he's off to get some breakfast. He's sick and tired of this. Give them lavish meals. Alas, we don't have a lot of food. I know that looks like a lot of food, but it's not really. Not for a colony of this size. Alright, so his tattoo dealt with... Tattoo's okay, she'll be fine. And the baby made it. Puppy's made it. Alright. As for these two... Hang on, let's just turn off the crematorium. Let me have a look and see. So, according to the faction screen, the egalitarian kin league of Onomeni... Um... So, enemy of the Orange Cliff Treaty. Oh, this is interesting. The tribals are their enemy. Hmm. Fascinating. That's fascinating. Da, 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 da. Nope, they're too fat. They've got to take separate pods. Ben, have you treated both of them? No, it seems that Sisler is bleeding. He'll need urgent medical attention. Uh, Mr. Stromax, are you feeling okay? No, he's hungry. Um, hang on a minute. Meds in the courtyard. Oh, yes, the Glitter World meds. We'll have to take those inside. Jonah, what are you doing? Jonah's off to rest. Jonah, before you do, would you mind uh, <clears throat> escorting the prisoner? Wait, we do it here. Right, uh, Gumball, are you awake? Um, these fuckers killed your husband, Gumball. You got some. You got some strong opinions about that. Uh, okay. What's, uh, uh, okay. Put her in the. Fine. Let Farinir chill in that room with the, with the uh, the prisoner. Release him as soon as we can. Okay. So into into uh, the cell. Lucas's cell there. Gumball storms, furious over the death of her husband. Picking him up and dragging him in in restraints out of the cell. Jonah does the same. So these people are from the Egalitarian Kin League, a colony that attacked us. We were just minding our own goddamn business. Uh, 
So, protesting and kicking, Gumball places him into a pod and closes the door. There are no controls inside the pod. It's handled from the outside. Okay, pod doors are both closed. The prisoners don't know what's going on. Perhaps they suspect that they're being launched back and released. They think some sort of ransom has successfully been paid or whatever. Um, right, so hang on a minute. So the egalitarian kin league, the Doabirium are allies, are enemies of them. Eh, yeah, yeah. So yes. There and there. Cool. And go to launch group. Ah, uh, that's not the right one. Uh, Union of Toll. Union of Toll. Wait, they count as a gift? They do count as a gift. Really? The prisoners, ac according to this, they count as a gift. Oh, because they're slaves, I think. The game considers them slaves? So in which case... That changes the equation. Sorry, bear with me. Egalitarian Kin League, the Union of Toll, Friendly Tribals. Or the Doabirium. Uh, okay. The Union of Toll. Hmm. Whoosh! Whoops. Whoosh! So all of a sudden, the pods race through the air. They're not powered once they're in flight. They'll slow down with chem fuel jets on the way. Well, when they get there, and the tribals are minding their own business. Uh, they're minding their own business. They're getting some breakfast. Hey! When suddenly two confused prisoners leave pods in front of them, in restraints and not sure what to do, the Union of Toll send us a message later thanking us for the gift of two slaves. Damn, but it did give it, yeah, it, go, it gave us the mood debuff. I feared that that was going to happen. So the colony sold prisoners into slavery. That's interesting, though. I wonder if that if that um, thing will still count. So I wonder if you get this debuff if they're guilty. That's interesting. Because if you don't, if they're guilty and you... We'll see. We'll test it next time we take a prisoner. If they're guilty and we can, and we can send them freely, we can just send the people we don't want to... Na neighboring tribes as as um well as as a gift but we'll try it we'll try it okay fuck them they they murdered one of us fuck them right so gumball is going to be extremely upset for a long time now so her husband has died for a full season She's going to be very upset. Right. But my desire for revenge... It's not over. Um, I think we should attack one of them. We should send them a message. They do not fuck with Coloma's Creek. It's some distance, though, to be fair. And we don't have food for the... Je we need to prepare some food. So let's get these insect meals. Uh, no, never mind that. Get, get them, just get them in the freezer. And what could we, uh, I mean, could we make some pemmican? Um, well, we've nearly got some rice here. Let's, oh, yeah, we've got quite a bit of rice. Okay, Let, let's try and gather as many crops as we can. We'll get, well, yeah, we'll get some steel to replace the pods. And we're going to send an attack mission to hit the egalitarian kin league. That being said, Maybe, in for maybe it would be wise to do this first. And a masterwork rifle is pretty good, to be fair. And it expires in 14 days. So, and it's closer as well. We could use it as a test. See how much food they need, etc. Thank you, uh, Korg. Thank you very much, Korg. Thank you sincerely. Thank you. Okay, so, let me just keep close tabs on what people are doing. Extreme break risk. Gumball. Yeah, the loss of... Her husband. Um, I'm sorry to ask this of you, Gumball. I'm gonna restrict you from equipment. Take off that power armor. Just in case you go a bit crazy. Um, I don't want you wearing power armor when you go crazy. Um, so, Gumball, you are now... Oh, okay. Clear. Yeah, it's fine. Just take off the power armor. Um, let's have a, a different fighter wear the power armor. Batman, would you mind... 
Put on that power armor. Someone take that gun over to the uh, armory. 18 tribals. Yes, yeah, so we'll send about five warriors and a couple of turrets. Okay. Uh, Lawfoot, could we ask that you sleep in here with the vitals monitoring system? Cool. So most people are almost over there their various illnesses. Okay. Well, Chucky's struggling, it seems. 80% immunity. Hmm. Can someone feed him? Whoops. Right. Oh, wait. Sisla was doing it. My bad. Uh, oh, yes. We shouldn't forget that trade chip. And let's cancel the drug manufacturing so we don't get a huge surplus. However, please make some psychite tea. No, we'll do that. No, we've got 13 units of psychite tea. I'll save the remaining psychoid leads for psychite tea, which is a, a calming drink. Indeed, the base is quite filthy. Lady Tigress is handling it, but there's a lot to do. Okay, also, the, uh, the eclipse is draining our batteries pretty quickly. Where is that reserve battery? Shit, I moved it when I got rid of that storeroom. Maybe I placed it down. Maybe we do not have a reserve battery. Oops. We need the eclipse to end then. Uh, are, are any of the turrets switched on? Nope. Okay, we're just going to run out of power. Not good. We're going to run out of power soon. Would really like that eclipse to end soon. Good. Tarn is already working to get some of that rice. Oh, cool grizzly bear and no predators are out there to threaten the threaten the livestock excellent is there a way to do a long-range bombardment before we attack yes we could take a mortar tube and um, when we set it up there start bombing them may as well if there's room in the drop pod thank you rambeat thank you very much rambeat thank you power up the wood generators good shout the wood generators are currently missing fuel we have plenty of it stanky would you mind Refuel the wood generators. That will give us another, what is it, 2,000 watts. Good shout. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, gumball and Podo. Extreme break risks. Where's Podo? Podo, Podo, Podo. The man who's always depressed. Yeah, we'll get that joy wire in your head. Okay, so let's queue up an operation for him. Install joy wire in his brain. Okay. Podo, would you mind going to the infirmary? Stanky, the combat engineer, is throwing logs into the wood-fired generator. And the next one, please. That should just push us over the power thing, I hope. Oh, wait. There's the battery there. Huzzah. What's he doing? Oh, he's fixing the trade beacon. Good job, Sisla. Please place down the battery. Just give us a little bit of extra power. And for Podo's operation, can we use the Glitter World meds that are over there? Just so it does not fail. Ben is off to treat the prisoners. Oh no, Sisla's taking the operation. Um, no, no, it's okay, Sisla. Let, uh, let Ben do it. It is, after all, her brother. Um, you know. Uh, what is he doing? Sisla. Stand down, Sisla. It's all good. Don't, don't you worry, man. Um... You, you just feed the others. Okay, hang on. Ben. There we go. Uh, hauling herbal medicine? What the fuck? Wild man. Who? Okay, holy shit. Uh, sorry, why is she trying to use... Get the, get the glitter world meds. They're there. Oh. Oh, right. No currently available slot to store the glitter world meds. Manufactured medicine, glitter world medicine. Go get. Go get. Um, sorry, what? Hang on. A person living among wild animals has wandered into the area. He's called Costa. You can attempt to tame or arrest him. Okay, that's the southern mining camp. Alright, so a 48-year-old man has wandered in. A lazy pyromaniac, incapable of most things. Ooh, but a capable warrior. Very capable warrior. And a burning passion for handling animals. Oros had that. 
he's a pretty good colonist, despite the pyromaniac. Um, so he's a wild man, so we need to send someone to tame him. Or just arrest him and flip him, you know. Okay, um, we could do that. Who has decent animal handling? I mean, <laughs> Oros, to be fair. Um, send Batman. Yeah, a skill of 14. Send Batman with some food and try and tame. All right, um, what's the time? It's, uh, no, no, there's, there's time, there's time. Batman, you go. Is he related to anyone? I don't know, let's have a look. No, no relationships with anybody. So uh, we'll go to the world screen. Wait, uh, make sure Batman has a couple of her hounds. Um, hang on, Batman. Also moving. Oh no, enhanced moving. Um, sorry, who are who are Batman's hounds? Animals. Uh, so Verticus, Silver Chaos. Yeah, send. Oh no, send a couple of males, just in case. Lumbar B, and Abel. There's Husky. Uh, Reapers as a puppy. Okay, Silver Chaos and Lumbarby. We'll send Batman with them. Right, so go to World, select the colony, form caravan. So Batman, please yourself and the wargs. Lumbarby and uh, Chaos. Okay, grab some meat. Uh, take some alpaca meat with you. 200 units. Take some... Damn, we're eating nutrient paste, aren't we? Mm. Take five simple meals. It's insect meat. It's quite revolting. Ugh. And I take a bit of chocolate with you. That should improve your mood. Um, right, okay. And then... What else? I think that's, that, that'll be it for... Yeah, that, that'll be it, really. I mean, you don't really need to take much else. It's so close that it's... Yeah, you're going to get there really quickly. All right, cool. Uh, la, yeah, it's fine. Confirm. Cool. Thank you, Pisuk. Thank you very much, Pisuk. Thank you kindly. Much appreciated. Thank you. All right then. Um, so Ben is getting the Glitter World meds. Good. Sorry, why is she trying to use herbal medicine? Is he restricted from? I don't know what she's doing. Move those out of the way. You don't want those. You want the Glitter World meds. I, I don't know what she's doing. What What have I done wrong here? It, are, it, are just insufficient Glitter World meds, maybe? I guess we just don't have enough Glitter World meds to perform an operation on... To perform brain surgery. Thank you, Eld. Thank you very much, Eld. Well, if that's true, let's just buy one more. Oh, shit. The trade is gone. Fuck biscuits. Before we could sell the drugs. Damn. And I'm not willing to do it with herbal meds. No, 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 no. Can we make a single unit of medicine? No, uh, maybe? No. What are we missing? Uh, we're missing cloth, aren't we? Can I just pull up some carpet? <laughs> Sounds a bit. Just go into uh, unknown, no bedroom. All right. Um, floors, remove floor. Um, you just stay there, Podo. We'll be with you shortly. Um, ben, can you go over there and just ah? Ben, do something else for the minute. Feeding. Go, go, sow some crops or something. Uh, well, no, go away. Um, can someone go Farinay? Can you go pull up that carpet? And Lawfoot, can you come over here? You're injured, aren't you? Yeah, bruises. You'll be fine. On your feet. Let's go. Is Podo allowed to have Glitter World meds? Yes, yes, he is. Yes. Right, so Farinir pulls up a piece of the carpet, exposing the dirt. Then Lawfoot should. Yes, there we go. Okay, so he's now making a single unit of medicine, which will combine with the stack of two over there in order to have sufficient meds to have a much better chance of succeeding with this operation. Also, let's disallow access to, to the Glitter World meds. Okay, so Lawfoot is retrieving Neutroamine, a single herbal med, and some cloth. 
Uh, no, Ben, what did I do? Oh, shit, she started the operation. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, we lost power. Oh, no, 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 don't kill your brother. I just sent her away to the damn hydroponics. Don't kill your brother. Don't kill your brother. Oh, she's performing brain surgery with, with herbal medicine. Please work, please work, please work. Fingers crossed. Don't kill him. Uh, oh, thank fuck for that. Fully succeeded. Oh, there we go. So he now has a joy wire installed in his brain. So it just gives him happy feelings. Counteracting his depressive mood. So a plus three mood boost permanently. He says it feels amazing. Good. Well done. Well done indeed, Ben. Your brother is okay. Ah, <sighs> shit. <laughs> Damn, gotta get one of those. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Batman's caravan is on its way. Low power indeed. Batman's bedroom's pretty filthy. Um, Lady Tigress, would you mind going and cleaning up all that blood? Gwyneth Pal Paltrow would be proud. <laughs> what was that? I, was, I, was, I saw something on Reddit this morning. Isn't she the celeb? Isn't she that celebrity that's all like about sticking eggs in her vagina or something? What is she's like peddling health shit? Like crazy shit, not like, not like, hey, here's some vitamin C. It's like really just nonsense, pseudoscience, poor shit. Is that, is that the celebrity? She's fucking nuts. She made candles that smell like her vagina. <laughs> that can't be true. Tell me that's not true. Oh dear. <laughs> the candle sold out. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Medical emergency. Sisla. Shit. What's up with him? Flu extreme? <gasps> you shouldn't be out of bed. Why are you out of bed? 86% immune versus 84? Ah! Get back in bed! Why are you out of bed? Why? Why would you do that? Sis, look at the fuck back in bed! Uh, Batman has arrived. Well done, Batman. Um, okay, so you've... Oh, you're pretty much next to the wild man that I wanted you to tame. See if you can. Right. So, carefully approach the wild man. And... No, don't try to arrest him. Try to tame him. Um, try taming. Okay, so Batman approaches the strange, sweaty man. Oh, a rat has self-tamed itself. Yay. Um, so Batman, Chucky's mum, approaches the wild man. Also, I should have bought the sword, shouldn't I? Oh shit, what the fuck? Oh no, a manhunter. Oh dear. Shit, I really should have bought the sword. Quick. Batman turns around to attack the wolf that is manhunting. Where are the wargs? Where are your wargs right now? Um, you had like two wargs that should be following you in combat. Where are they? Oh, holy shit. Whoa, okay. All right then, holy shit. Batman is... Is is beating a timber wolf to... Oh, okay, wow. Um, Chucky's mum just beat a timber wolf to death with her fists. Right, okay. Remind me not to fuck with Chucky's mother. Jesus. Okay, so after that, Batman approaches the strange wild man. 
Whilst talking to herself about eating zucchinis, Batman feigned an inattention towards Costa. Batman shows a relaxed attitude towards Costa and hands some meat. Would you like some meat? You got some meat? Um, okay. So he ate the meat. And Batman approached Costa whilst whispering to herself about the connection between life challenges and the fate of the universe. Oh, bloody hell, that was quick. What? Really? A wild man was convinced to join us after a conversation about the fate of the universe. Okay. Holy shit. The wild man has joined us. Well done, Batman. <laughs> well done. Well done indeed, Batman. Bloody hell. Okay. Um. Cool. Let's get you guys home then. Brilliant. We have a new recruit. So, back to the world screen. Form caravan. Bunch of you get together. Uh, yeah, just bring what you have. Start heading immediately. Oh, you've got some wart there that you can carry with you. Uh, screw the wart. Get the uranium. Just don't lick it. Right. There we go. Sweet. She's quite tired and hungry, though. Do we still have the uh, the meat in the inventory? Yeah. Be fine. Cool. Podo's on his feet again and feeling much better. Nice. Oh, that's quite a lot of insect meat there. Uh, po really? You just... Okay. No, I just gave you a joy wire. What the fuck? Okay, despite the joy wire, he's decided to celebrate his successful surgery by snorting drugs. Right. Shouldn't you, like, rest, dude? Now is not the time for hard drugs. Thank you, Walter. Thank you very much, Walter. Thank you. Thank you kindly, sir. Why is walking lettuce starving? Oh, he's having a mental breakdown. Can this colony just chill the fuck out for like 10 seconds? Oh, now the fields are burning. Oh, what's that now? Now the crops have blight. <laughs> oh, come. Oh, come on. One thing, then another. <sighs> Next, the, the ground is going to split open and Satan himself is going to step out. And his name shall be Randy. Right, Farinet, get your ass... Wait, can you do crop sowing? No, let someone else do it. Um, ben is sleeping. Uh, where's Tarn, the nudist, who's also sleeping? You've slept enough. Can you go, and go deal with that blight? Right, go fucking... I don't care about harvesting, just... Oh, no, don't do that! Fine, fix it. Uh, didn't fix it. Right. Thank you, Cheezer. Thank you very much. And thank you for saying so. Welcome indeed, Cheezer. Speaking of which, how much time do I have? I've got 28 minutes and then I need to get on with work. Okay. Right, so Tom, the 15-year-old nudist, is now stepping inside the... No? What are you doing? Not assigned to plant cutting. Really? I assigned you to growing, but not to cutting? Oh. Yeah. So I did. How peculiar. Off you go. Start cutting that rice. Don't let the blight spread. Thank you, Grey. Thank you very much, Grey. Thank you sincerely. Most kind. Thank you. Okay, Sisla, how are you doing with that flu? Extreme flu. Oh, you're only barely going to beat that. That's not good at all. Um, right. Farron and Ben are sleeping there and there. Why? What's wrong with your bedrooms? Uh, ben... This is now your bedroom. It's a much better bedroom than that one. And Faranir, that can be your bedroom. You did pull up the carpet a few minutes ago. You've broken it, you bought it. Okay. So it's now 11 at night, everyone's winding down and going to bed, apart from Batman, who's about to start the trip home with the wild man, who doesn't have a name yet. Right. Need to move these beds back into the prisoner area. This one as well. Ah, <sighs> bloody, bloody hell. 
Uh, who's that? Oh, it's Podo. Binging on Psychite. What have you snorted? Oh, he hasn't snorted anything yet. Good. Don't, don't snort drugs. Don't do drugs, kids. Don't do drugs. Right. So walking lettuce is starving. Batman needs medical treatment, but it's not it's not life threatening. You'll be fine. Oh yes. Any predators? Uh, nope. No predators to worry about just yet. That's good. Carry on there, Tarn. You're doing good work. Cool. Batman is on the way. Hi there, Chinny. Chinny's in the chat, everybody. Don't forget about the fire. Ah, it's not that big. Yeah, it's fine. It's all good. All right. Um, we shouldn't forget about that raid either. We need to get prepared for it. So we need we need to build up as much food as we can for an away team. Well, I haven't noticed you, Chinny. I've just been so absorbed. I've, be, I've just been so immersed. Okay, how's Chucky doing with his flu? Uh, yeah, he's beating it. He'll be fine. Sisla is just ahead of it, but he should be fine if he stays in bed. Okay, so injury-wise, we're almost almost over them. Oh, walking lettuce. Get out of Farron's room. He's trying to sleep. Where's Sisla? Oh, wounded. The blight is spreading? Probably. Oh, yes. It's alright. She'll deal with it. Yeah, we've done a pretty bad job of, of getting the crops sown. I mean, it's already, you know, we're, we're soon to enter summer and we're nowhere near being able to harvest. Oh, God, sister's puking his guts out. 3% ahead of the flu. It must be because he's so old. Well done, Tarn. Well done. You can go to bed in a minute. Animal starvation. A boomalope. Okay. This perhaps implies that there's insufficient food for the animals. Not good. We'll see what it's like in the morning. Hmm. Could the eclipse end soon, please? I would like some solar power back. Thank you, RPWT29. Thank you. No, we're going to have a short circuit event in Gumball's bedroom. Ah, Thank you. Now go back to bed. We'll go to research. That means all power has been drained from all batteries. Great. If we get an attack now, we're buggered. The turrets will not operate because the reserve battery is here. <laughs> okay. Vickler's still awake. Um, Vickler, could you move these down bedrooms? Start carrying the beds over there. Thank you. Ah, Lawfoot is fully healed. Good. Can you clean up that puke? Probably smells revolting. Oh, look at the damn rec room. No, don't do that! No! Oh, ah. Okay. In mourning over the death of her husband, Gumball Bob has collapsed in a catatonic state. Someone take her into the into the infirmary or wherever. Okay. Lawfoot, can you go get her? Oh, no. Someone go get her. Don't just leave her like... Oh, Vickler, don't just walk over her. Oh, yeah, he hates women, doesn't he? That would explain it. Yeah. Misogynist. He hates women. So he's like, there. Thank you, Cheezer. Thank you very much, Cheezer. Thank you. <sighs> so hang on a minute. Um, do, 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 do. Does she get a mood boost if she gets rescued, picked up off the floor? Tarn, where are you? I think you've already gone to bed. Um, Lady Tigress. She she likes Lady Tigress. Yeah, go wake up and go get her. I'm interested to see if she gets a mood boost. Yeah, Batman's out of food. Okay. Where's Chucky going? Chucky's extreme flu. You're almost over it. You'll be fine. Sister was sister is almost fine. Okay, so today, food. We just need to manufacture as much food as we can. Who needs a ranged weapon? Finn. Finn, go get your gun back. Um, is that it there? I assume. 
And that's Batman's gun. Oh. Oh, damn. Oh, shit. We put the, the warg meat that we carried with us in storage at the south mining camp. Oops. That's why we ran out of food so quickly. Right. Cool. Good job, Lady Tigress. Chinny had once had a misogynist and a misandrist get married. <laughs> oh. Well, opposites attract. Hmm. Hi there, Zen. Zen Tao. Hmm. Sync 24. Cool. Thank you for the recommendation. Alas, I'll probably forget. Remind me again later if possible. Thank you. Stop the production of insect simple meat. Yeah. And we need them for the animals, really. But yeah, fair. Let's, um... Let's start making some. So what do we need for a package survival meal? We need... Uh, what do we need? Uh, ten of each, isn't it? So meat and plant ingredients. Do we have any plant ingredients? Any rice? What happened to all the rice? Oh, it's in... I see. It's in the secondary storeroom. Ah. All right. Let's... Um, low priority. Oh, it's because the animals can't get in here. I see. That's fine. So let's... Um, Let's have it moved over here. Farinir, could you haul this over to the main room? Who can do that for me? Uh, yep. Hang on. Cleaning, hauling. Yep. Haul this over to the main kitchen. We'll start making some packaged survival meals. Uh, we're still low on power. Rare thrombos. Hmm. Hello, rare thrombos. Being thrombos. Oh yes, the hole in the wall and yeah, on the side of the base needs to be dealt with. And the animals are starving even more than before. Okay, let's move them back. Ah, one thing then another, eh? <laughs> um, is that storeroom offline? Of course, the refrigeration is offline. So here, let's put insect meals, more food meals, simple meals. Okay, we'll just store them over there for now. Actually, no. Don't do that. We'll put down a specific zone for it. Here. Put it critical priority, simple meals. Okay. Uh, J girl, would you mind hauling the simple meals over there? Right, okay. Yeah, still trying to, uh, Rochella. Although, we're over our injuries now, but, um, yeah, we've still got some problems. Ah, Batman's here. Welcome back, Batman. You might need to get to the infirmary. And welcome indeed, random man. Okay, so, this gentleman is a 48-year-old former factory worker, I believe. Yes, with a burning passion for weapons. So, yeah, guns and melee. Nice, 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 nice. Um, so, animal handling and crafting. He's quite lazy, though, and a careful shot. Maybe give him a gun. Even though he's got a burning passion for melee, it might be better to give him a gun if he's got a careful shot thing. Right, okay, so... I need a volunteer. Let's do a Twitch sub, then. Could I please have a volunteer in the Twitch chat for uh, this colonist? So a 48-year-old man, factory worker, an herb world urchin... Um, where's a piece of paper? Sorry, bear with me. Okay, never mind the paper. I'll just scribble it on my desk and rub it off later. Got a pencil. So yes, um, please volunteer if you'd like to join. Where's a coin? Here's a coin. Right, I'll just flip a coin a couple of times to make it fair. Let's have a look. So, do, 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 do. let's go with. One. Just gonna start scribbling names. Uh, Wait, I can't spell. There we go. Thank you, uh, Mo Tackle. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Let's go with you. Uh, and one last name. I'm going to go with... Okay, so heads, tails, heads, 
Tails. Heads or tails. Right, cool. There we go. Four names. Heads. So it's one of these two. Heads. So it's you. Welcome to the colony. Psyche. Psyche? You there, Psyche? Right. Is he there? Ah. Well, Slain, uh, this is Twitch subs, I'm afraid. You don't have the marker next to your name. Sorry. Cool, Psyche is there in blue. Um, right, so welcome Psyche, the 48-year-old uh, factory worker and former herb world urchin. So, um... So the herb worlds, ancient and deep industrial cityscapes bursting with humanity and poison. Psyche grew up in the dark, unwanted reaches of such a place. He had to fight for every scrap of food. This improved his shooting and his melee abilities, so he had to fight in order to survive. In his adult life, Psyche did menial, unskilled work in an industrial era factory. His job also included caring for the mules and horses which transported goods around the city, giving him a construction boost, animal handling boost and crafting. He also has a burning passion for handling animals, melee fighting, and crafting. He's incapable of being intellectual, of artistic pursuits, of cooking or firefighting. He's also a pyromaniac. Psyche loves fire. He'll never extinguish fires. To relieve stress, he will occasionally go on random fire-starting sprees. This happens more often if his mood is low. He's also quite lazy, which means his global work speed is low. And he's uh, a, a careful shot, so he takes more time to aim when shooting. He shoots less often than others, but with more accuracy. So for this reason, we're giving him a gun. Let's give him... So, hang on, assign him. So make sure he's got the, the right work roster. Uh, oh no, it's fine. He just got the default. It's fine. Um, right, so... Restrict, assign... Psyche is going to be assigned as a warrior. So we'll have him get armor and uh, weapons. And in terms of his weapon... Um, an assault rifle could be good enough for now. Um, did I haul in... Ah, yes. Take the Oris's assault rifle. Um, okay, hang on a minute. Where's Gumball? There's Gumball. Oh, I, I, I deprived her of her weapon, didn't I? Yeah, just in case. Okay, so Psyche, get in here and grab this assault rifle. And your bedroom... Do we have a bedroom assigned to you? Um... No, you might have to wait for a bit, I'm afraid. Take the bed... Well, take the... Yeah, take this room over here. It's not very good, I'm afraid. But better than nothing. Okay. So, Psyche, welcome indeed to the colony. Go get some clothes. Medical emergency, Sisla. How's he doing? Ben's feeding him raw rice. Really? What's wrong with the hopper? The hopper's fine. Um, 98%. Yeah, he's almost over his, his flu. Two more percent and he's over it. Okay. Cool. And we fixed the blight. Thank you, Fruyuk. 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 Thank you very much, Fru. Thank you kindly. Thank you. Okay, Hunter lacks a ranged weapon. It's alright, we're dealing with that. Oh yes, the work roster. So, Psyche, please be a patient when you need to be. Get some bed rest when you need to. Flip flip switches when I tell you. Uh, please focus on handling the animals currently. Uh, and also hunting. Why not? We'll have you do both. Hunt and uh, handle animals. And when you're not doing that, just haul stuff around the base. Cool. Okay. Right. Um, cargo pods have been detected. Not here. Damn, I shouldn't have clicked. I should have jumped to the location. Uh, very low power. Hmm. Water's rotted. Oh, it's the south camp. Right. Just get as many crops sown as we can, really. Good. Walking Lettuce is back with us. Okay, so J-Girl is preparing some more... What's she doing? A packaged survival meal. Okay, so let's let's build up some meals Yeah, for, for travel, really. So give us a whole bunch of packaged survival meals. And just drop them on the floor. Yeah. Oops. Drop them on the floor. 
Uh, whoops. Okay, and then go to the diet and make sure that the existing duck... Okay, so I've restricted them to paste anyway. It's fine. So we need to make sure that if they do... Yeah, they, they don't scoff on the packaged survival meals, basically. Hmm. And where are they going? Make sure the animals can't... Damn, Mr. Stromax is off to binge on Psychite. Bollocks. Um, where's... Oh, Chucky's assisting with the cooking? Um... Do we need you to do that right now? Chucky, could you instead... Never mind the cooking. Go assist with the growing of the crops. We need to get stuff sewn. Thank you, anyway. Um, I do need someone to assist... What's Lawfoot doing? Who's the other chef? I need someone to assist Jay Girl in the kitchen. Walking lettuce. I see. Walking lettuce has just finished his mental breakdown. He's off to bed. Okay, he can help later. Hmm. The new colonist is not eating just paste. Uh... Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's quite revolting. I'm, I'm aware. A sky but. Alright. Needs must, to be honest. Uh, there's not enough in the hopper. Fill the hopper. There we go. Alright. Yeah, we get through that really quickly. Holy shit. So yes, we'll build up some... Yeah, we'll get some packaged survival meals. We'll get people armed. And then we'll go and destroy the tribals nearby. Although I've got another 10 minutes before I need to end the stream, I'm afraid, folks. Sorry about that. Just I've got so much work to do. Oh, yes. What about the animals outside? Oh, hang on. So I'm no longer getting the notification that tells me that the animals are starving. So they are finding just enough grass? Also, there's a timber wolf that we need to hunt before it hunts us. Well, it's far enough. It's, it's far away enough for the minute. We'll ignore it. Mm-hmm. Thank you, KGB Spain. Thank you very much, KGB. Thank you. Um, I reckon it's worth it, Cryptic. Oh, shh. Don't be here. No, it's not here. Oh, it's uh, to the south. Toxic fallout, so dangerous to go outside. You get poisoned. Um, Cryptic, yeah, it, it's very good indeed. It's very well done. It's uh, well realised and it's full of individual stories. Yeah, it... it Rimworld is really, really good. Really good. Hi there, Duck Slayer. Yeah, so editing's fine so far, really. I'm just kind of, just, just kind of plinking away with it. I, I, I sit down. I, I polish some scenes. It's, it's lots of little tasks now. So the video is done. The bullshittery is, uh, done. You know, quotation marks. Um, it, it, it's complete. I've got it. I, I can watch it from end to end. But it's full of fuck ups. Like the whole thing is just end to end fuck ups. Like, this text is too big. This one doesn't... It's not synced properly with the audio, you know? This resolution is not right, so it's too big, you know? There's lots of little things. I need to go back and fix small bits. So I, I sit there, I watch it, I come out with, like, a notepad of, like, no, that's wrong, that's wrong. You know, I, I open up the individual After Effects compositions and fix them, watch it again, make a new notepad of stuff. It's all very tedious. But what happens is you watch it again and again and again, and eventually you get to the point where you have, you know, 50 fuck-ups turns into 12, 12 turns into 8, you know, and then it starts to get smaller and smaller and smaller, and then eventually, like, this is it. Uh, what's that? Sorry, Mad Gazelle. Is that here? Uh, nope, that's the Western Mining Camp. We're okay. Is there a stream schedule? Um, yes, uh, Maravirus. Ma sorry, um, Maverus. So, in the morning at around 11, and in the evening at around 8. Uh, but uh, yeah, so just before work and after it. So in the meantime, I'm j I just edit stuff for YouTube. What are you, Lulu? What are you doing, sweet pea? She's digging. Hmm. Would I consider some defects are for it okay if it doesn't disrupt the video? Well, there will there will ah, there will always be a couple of little things. But, um, you know, you only get one shot at making it right, so you might as well take the time. Okay. You're right, honey. Yeah, you're a good girl. Yes, you are. 
<laughs> okay then. Um, so, Hunter lacks a ranged weapon, low medicine, we're sowing more cycloid leaves. Hmm. Frankly, right now, we need food. Just plant rice. As much rice as we can get. And let's take... Yeah, never mind food stored here anymore. Let's let's get all of the food stored in the main freezer where we can prepare it. Where's J girl? She's um, hauling cougar meat. Why? For the wolves? I think. Must be. Thank you, Slimy. Thank you very much, Slimy. Thank you. Uh, yeah, she's off to get some food. That's fine. Uh, tantrum, Psyche. Oh, why? Because he ate an awful meal, he's off to destroy our drugs lab. No! No, no, sir. That's that's ours. You? No, 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 no. You've just gotten here. Yeah, into the fucking... In fuck off. Into the goddamn prisoner room you go. That's not how new people here behave, sunshine. That's what we get for recruiting a wild man. Would I have a stream to YouTube? Nah, probably not, Hyper. I'm not, like, super against it. It's just that uh, I, I don't really have a reason to do... You know, YouTube, a YouTube audience and a streaming audience, a Twitch audience, are two, two very different things. Maybe that will change. Maybe maybe YouTube's plan of doing the live streaming thing will succeed. And, and, and the community that, that has grown here on Twitch will also thrive on YouTube. But that's not the case right now. People go to YouTube to watch YouTube videos. They don't go to the, go there to watch, uh, to tune into, sorry, live streams that are ongoing. They just don't. Yeah, the wall still has a big hole in it. Has Cicelo gotten over the flu? Yes, he has. Well done. Okay, so once you've done, yeah, you need to fix that. Yeah, YouTube is just not... And also, bear in mind... Oh, come on, guys. Now, uh, fuck. Okay, Jonah's off to have a tantrum, but at least he's off to break things in his own bedroom. That's fine. So long as it's not something expensive. You don't think so, Soviet, says Yvonne. Blizzard has signed a deal with YouTube Gaming to exclusively stream the Overwatch and the Call of Duty tournaments on YouTube. So much backlash. Perhaps, Yvonne, but forgive me, it's not Blizzard to decide how people use the platform. They may have that deal indeed, but until people actually tune into YouTube streams in large enough numbers, no one gives a shit. Again, this might change. The landscape may change, but the landscape right now is that live streaming is very definitely on Twitch. The numbers don't lie. Plus also not... yeah. Sorry, what's that sound? Oh, it's just Jonah. Numbers aside, there's a certain, there's a certain community, there's a certain energy that's, oh, visitors. There's a certain energy and way of doing things, and I suppose, like a sort of, like a lexicon almost, like a, you know, just people spamming emotes and stuff. It's not necessarily the emotes that, that YouTube needs, it's that, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Just sort of culture, I suppose, that exists on Twitch that does not exist on YouTube at all. YouTube is uh, very anonymous, despite, you know, all the na names and shit. It's very anonymous. It's very toxic, really. I mean, I don't wish to use that word because you know what I mean. It's very aggressive compared to Twitch. You guys, you know, you just... People can just talk out. They talk out. They can hang out. They can chat here. But this is nothing like YouTube. Yeah, the engagement here. Yeah, w w what's in the chat right now? Nothing like YouTube. It's so different. Hmm. Oh dear. Vickler's got food poisoning from milk. Yeah. People on YouTube are used to zero moderation. Indeed. But, um, again, the, the, well, the reasons I'd, I, I couldn't speculate on uh, Spaceship. But I'm just saying that the, the tone is very different. Also, bear in mind that... Um, uh, what was my other point that I made before? Um, 
community different, numbers different. There was another point I made a while ago. Oh yes, that was it. Um, so Google just has a habit of trying to compete with other products. Just generally, they will roll out their version of it. If it's, you know, a social media platform, hey, look at Google Plus. You know, oh, it's live streaming is a thing. Hey, look at YouTube Gaming. You know, the, the, uh, is it, sorry, YouTube Gaming? YouTube Red? Well, well you know, the, the other thing. They, they, they keep doing this and um, they have limited success, like just in terms of overall. Sorry, what's Vickler doing? He's off to smash things in his bedroom. God damn it, everyone's upset in this colony. So yeah, they have a history of, of trying to compete with things that are already entrenched without either understanding those things or having enough of a, uh, a grassroots momentum to keep those things going. They're, they're from the top. They're like, it's, it's, it's orders coming down from up high, not, not demand from down low. So I know that's a bit wishy-washy but you know what i mean is in the, they, these things tend to let's wait and see let's wait and see let's not listen to what blizzard have to say on the matter because ultimately who gives a shit it's how it's how you guys use the platform not how what blizzard dictates who cares what blizzard dictates who cares what google says okay Thank you, Epic Weasley. Thank you, sir. And Sky and Grey Hunted. Thank you, all of you, for your kindness. Thank you, folks. Thank you. What do I think about Mixer? I think it's interesting. I think it's worth... I think it's it's a situation that's worth watching. Um, if I had to, like, put my money, like, if, if I had money to actually say, you know, do you think it's going to succeed? No. Not really. Um, but I could be proven wrong. But they have done something, in, they have done, um, oh shit, um, oh, what's that, sorry, oh, cargo pods. Ooh, uh, uh, fruit, I mean, if we go there, we'll pick it up, but it's the western camp, I, not, I have no plans to go there currently. Um, you know, I mean, if Mixer takes off, then hooray, but I don't think, not really. Um, there's a video, uh, what was that video? So there's a YouTuber called Folding Ideas who does some fascinating video essays and I love them. And um, he did one talking about uh, VidMe. Um, and uh, sorry, VidMe Tube or VidMe? I can't remember. It was like a competing YouTube service. And he was pointing out just how flawed the VidMe approach was in terms of like you have a competitor to a giant, in this case YouTube. Um, and VidMe, what VidMe were doing is that they were offering some very basic things, but they weren't really courting the attention of the already entrenched um, creators, whereas Mixer is. So it could be, you know, as in they, they, they've done something right that VidMe didn't, at least, which, you know, VidMe was like, hey, get involved, it's fun. Whereas, you know, Mixer's like, here's X million or whatever, you know, and they're just, they're just they're just bright. Yeah, just, here's a bribe. You know, d done. They're, they're, they're courting existing talent, which is something, you know, it's something that VidMe weren't doing. Interesting. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But I, I wouldn't put my money on. Oh, hang on. Shit, what's wrong? Victor just passed out after his tantrum? Oh, food poisoning. Major food poisoning. Oh, shit. Can someone go save him? Who's awake? It's night time. You're the only one. You're the only one awake. But who was butchering? Walking lettuce, oh, of course, because his sleep his sleep cycle's knackered. Um, go rescue Vickler. Oh, a solar flare! Oh no! Oh, it's here! Bollocks! Come on! <sighs> the eclipse just ended. We just got solar power back, and now there's a solar flare. All electrical devices are disabled. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> the ender says you have the streams on in the background while you work. Uh, so logging in from home so you don't feel so lonely. Yeah, and greetings, ender. Yeah, uh, and truth be told, I, I suspect that's how most people probably consume their streams. Um, you know, it, it's in the background. It's that thing in the background that that's there. Maybe you'll pay, cl you'll pay close attention to it when something really interesting happens. But for the most part, you're doing something else, you know? Yeah, Yvonne's playing WoW. 
Lots of people will be working, playing other games, maybe doing hobbies, maybe doing cleaning. It's, yes, it, it, it's often something in the background. Again, it depends on the stream. Like, streaming is a huge variation of, of things that are happening. From esports, which is, well, you watch them for the same reason that you watch a regular, regular sport. You're watching professionals at something you probably enjoy at the top of their game. Sometimes it's like a just chatting stream where it's the personality that is you know, you're listening to someone's voice and their personality and they're answering questions and, and maybe you want to ask a question yourself or maybe it's a particular game like Rimworld which is quite like a aquarium -y. it's like there's, there's the fish are going and doing their thing but for the most part they're just kind of it's like a that's I'm looking for the right word it's it's like a, a something on in the background that for the streamer even you know you're just sort of watching an, like an, an, an adventure that's being narrated lots of different things Scarfy watches the stream while he hides in his office pretending to do work hmm maybe you should get back to work Scarfy get back to work do 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 I couldn't speculate fighting for fun people watch what they watch for their own reasons okay so alas though looking at the time folks I'm afraid I, I really do need to leave it there I mean it's already five minutes past one o'clock um, but yes anyway so Columbus Creek continues to well we're okay we're recovering so unfortunately the Oris died of his injuries uh, we received the notification um, yeah that sucks so he, uh, his, his wife Gumball is going to be super upset. She's already catatonic in the infirmary. We'll need to feed her and keep her warm until she gets over it. Could be a long time during which research is going to be stalled. But she's halfway through the research for the ship manufacturing. So once she's done this, we'll be able to start building the parts of the ship. The escape ship to leave. Oh, the solar flare's done. That's good. Um, okay. However, I would like to get some revenge on the bandits, well, on the colonists that attacked us. So, we are going to be building up some packaged survival meals. We'll be striking this tribal camp first, just as, uh, well, they've got a gun that I want. But then we'll be visiting the, e the egalitarian kin league of Ono Many. We'll be spilling blood in the Oris's name. Okay. Right. How do I get motivated to work? Well, I've just got so much to do, Jackson. I've, I've just got to, just got to work through it bit by bit, really. Just got to, you know, get it done. Then, then relax, relax later. I'll be playing some SWAT four later with the guys, hopefully. So, um, yeah, right, cool. So, thank you for watching, everybody. Thank you sincerely. Thank you, Kin Virgie and Continuum and Epic Weasley. Thank you sincerely. Thank you. Right, okay. One moment, if you please. Who's streaming now? Let's have a look. So in my clan, we have... So uh, ZF Sheep is on. What is he playing? He's playing Rimworld. Good, good. Um, okay, cool. I'm going to hand you over to him then. So, yes. Uh, so this is ZF Sheep. He's one of the very, very long-running members of ZF. But you probably have seen... I'm just wondering. You probably haven't seen a huge amount of him in the videos. He turns up from time to time. Uh, he you know, he, he tends, tends to be about... He He's only recently started streaming, like very recently, uh, in the last few weeks or so. So I'm sure he would really appreciate your support if you wanted to follow him. Um, yeah, he's very chill. He's very chill indeed. And he's playing a bit of RimWorld. So you can see his uh, five-man colony just getting on its feet. And um, yeah, cool. Right. Thank you again. Have a lovely week if I don't catch you again, folks. I'm going to crack on with Armour 3 Anti-Stazzy Bullshittery Part 4. And hopefully I can get it done this week. Hopefully. I will try my best. And I will try and get it to you as soon as I can. Um, yeah, so going to go get on with work. All the best. Thank you. Have a lovely, lovely afternoon.